All right, welcome back here to Brevard Sports Network, where we have switched sides so we can show a couple other different teams, as it'll be the O'Galley Commodores and the Satellite Scorpions, as long as I don't kill the tripod. Uh, Jackson, Rob, and Alan Slaughterzinski with you from what is what is soon to be a stormy satellite high, and I hate to say that, but it's coming. It is coming, Jackson. That is for sure. So we're going to get you in love. I know, I know it's Molly Steele out there and also Satellite. So let me pull this. All right, so you know Satellite. Molly Steele, and I believe. Who is Molly's partner? Kate Benton. All right, Kate Benton. She's not even on the roster. Oh, yeah, she is. She's three. All right, so Kate Benton and Molly Steele against who? Ava Bray and Kylie Thompson. All right, there you go. Oh, boy, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, sir. Look at that clap. Look at that sky back there. What? Kate, what a great job. Ava Bray. And on four and... Savannah Brunger or Anastasia Corio, one of the two, for O'Galley. Who is that on court two there, Jackson? I know it's Abby White and... Need to fact check. Okay. It looks like this set just ended between satellite and. Yep. Let's go over here to court two. That score is eleven seven satellite. Here, see if you can find it. I tell you, man, this is a cool shot. Yeah, for the scorps on court number four, it's Abby White and Caitlin Brown. Eleven seven satellite leads. I believe O'Galley advanced over Titusville to face yes, satellite. Yes, that's correct. And Bayside's going to advance over. Uh, Bayside's playing Vieira, Vieira, right. I think that's the semifinals. I believe. I, I hope and pray to the weather gods that we make the finals. We make it through this because it's heating up now, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, so the semis, I think we got Vieira, Bayside, and Satellite O'Galley. Anything that's lightning related is 30 minutes yeah. from the time of the last horn goes off. I don't so. know. Beach volleyball play in the rain because this. They don't. Get, they yeah, don't. Because I think rain will be inevitable. Lightning. All right. Different story. Let's go back here to Molly Steele and Kate Benton on court one. Go ahead. You can take that too. I'm gonna hold this. Steele to serve for O'Galley. Serves to Ava Bray. She's a beach volleyball product. Bray spike down. Steele keeps it up. Benton sends it over. Thompson, Bray tips it down, the drop shot. That went through, but it was under the net. So now 1-0 to start this set for Satellite. They won the last one, so they'd be looking to win this one if they can take this set. They've switched sides on court four from court two, according to us. It's 14-7, I believe Satellite with the lead over there. Zero lead for satellite here on court number two. The one on your screen, that is. Kylie Thompson to serve, sends it to the back corner, and that will be an you ace. Guys, got a deep in close in case the lightning hits me up here. <laughs> Three zero lead for satellite here. Again, they look to win this one. This specific game, they got to win three out of five as a team to advance. Another ace for Kylie Thompson, and it's three to zero to start for Satellite. Yeah, 
you know, Coach Wayne made a really good, a really good uh, statement when she said there's no hiding in this. It's two. It's mano y mano. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's my type of sport. No subs or anything. You got no. a partner, and that's your ride or die for the day. Yep. Thompson punches it down, gets it to go. It's 5-1 satellite here. A hot start to their second set. Trying to win the game here. Their uh, specific game. Yeah. All right. You, uh, when I tell you we're going to court two, just jump over there and do what you got to do. I'm just saying, you know, yeah. broadcast-wise. Good play by Steele and Bray can't receive it. The point for O'Galley makes it 5-2. to two. Thank Beachway Volleyball Club and Club Director Michelle Rycroft for her sponsorship here today. Switch sides here on this court. It is five over, to two. Over here, satellites running away on court two, 16 to seven, and down on court three, running away, 17 10. And if they win all three of these games, then they'll move on to the district championship. Good play there by satellite here on this court. They lead it six to two. Sunglasses are coming off for most of these players as the sun is kind of gone. Couldn't tell you where it is. <laughs> Thompson sir, gets curved into the wind out of bounds. Six to three now the lead for Satellite. Yeah, that wind's playing some tricky, tricky uh, things on that ball here, Jackson. Yeah, now it's coming straight sideways off the ocean, so it's going to be curving it towards the sideline. That one goes long. That was a wind serve. Yes, it was. 7-3 Satellite extends their lead. Ava Bray. And that one tipped out by O'Galley. 8-3 Satellite leads. On other courts, they lead 17-9 and 17-16 on the far court. O'Galley giving a good chase in that one. Giving a good fight. Ball drops in by Bray. Thompson sets it up. Bray sets it for Thompson. Thompson spikes it down. Great receive by O'Galley. I believe that was Banton. Yeah. Bray tips it over the net for the kill there. And it's 9-3 Satellite. Ava, I think a, just a junior, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yep. Satellite <laughs> leading on two of their three games right now. They're tied in one on the far end. Oh, they came all the way back over there. Okay. And that one goes along. It's now 9-4 Satellite. On this court, middle court, 18-10 Satellite. And on the far court, 18-17 Satellite. We got about less than 10 minutes here. Ball sets in for Bray. Set up for Thompson. There's the set. Bray for the spike. And a powerful kill by Ava Bray. And it'll be 10-4 Satellite. Now you guys, you guys can go in the gym, okay? All right, because once Caleb gets here, then you guys are going to finish up, okay? And that one goes off the net by Steele. 11 or 10, 10. Four, I believe as they switch sides 10-4 satellite with the advantage on this court in the middle court I believe the Scorpions completed the victory they so did they one of their wins on the board as the team of Abby White and Caitlin Brown pick up the win on the far court I believe they've done the same I don't know what set they're all on I think that is the second so if they both swept, then they would both be done. If they split the first two sets, then be another left. This is a good one here. These are four good volleyball players. 12-4. Steele gets it in over the net. 12-5. Satellite with the lead. I believe on the middle court, that one is I've seen, to be over. I've, I've seen Molly Steele play a lot of volleyball. She's an outstanding player. Banton drops it in for the ace. 12-6. O'Galley. Coming back. Yeah. 
looks like two of satellite teams have already won their game. Yeah, they're done. So with this one, if they can close out this set, they'll move on to the district championship. They Bills. may not even with the weather. I don't know. Looks like they're going to play. Uh, looks like they're going to play that. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. 13-6, the lead for Satellite. Well, if the weather gets so bad, but you already have a district championship set, something else could happen. That one flies straight yeah, yeah. into your living room, and it is... Yeah, you can play that at any time. Yep. You know what I mean? But they got to settle the semifinals first. Yeah. 13-6, Satellite leads. Good oh, attempt nice by muscle. O'Galley. 14-6, Satellite leads. What time is it? It is 4.30. Okay. Well, it looks like they're not done here on the middle court. Okay. Satellite no galley kicking up again on the far court as well. First so set. Okay, I think this yeah, is so. still second set there. I think this is already our second set here. We're gonna we're gonna keep it here, and then when this match concludes, we'll move to that center court. So keep our focus here. break for a moment here on this court the lead okay looks to be satellite i believe 15 to 7 let's jump over to court that's abby white and caitlin brown for satellite for o'galley 18 and 4 number 18 is lexi wilmerton and number four there's two number four it's either savannah brunger anastasia coiro brunger so it's Savannah Brunger and Lexi Wilmerton. Is that Savannah? Number four right here. Okay, it's not Savannah. That is Anastasia Coiro. Okay. And Lexi Wilmerton. Uh, satellite with the 4-1 lead on this court. Satellite took the most recent set. So either they split the first two and this is set third, or I'm assuming this is set two in which Satellite has the one set advantage. Yes. That's my guess. I wish the girls would flip that little thing in the middle. Wilmerton. Whites. You ready to come back to court so one? Oh, gets it over. Yes, I am. As 15 to 8 is the lead for Satellite on this court. Ava Bray, Kylie Thompson, Molly Steele, and Kate Benton. Yeah, there it is. Bray with the spike going out. 15-9. O'Galley hanging in there in this one. Satellite wins this set. They will win this match. Steel back to serve for O'Galley. Drops in for Thompson. Set by Bray. Thompson sends it to the corner. Oh. Again. They can't get it to fall now. And now 15-10. O'Galley benefiting. From hit out of bounds. It's tough with a pinpoint shot like a corner. If you miss either long or to the side. Yep. Out. Good comparison. Molly Steele to serve for the Commodores. And that one sails. 16 10 satellite leads. The wind's blowing from the south, southeast. So off the ocean, but behind O'Galley. That one can't be received by the Commodore. 17-10, satellite leads. Other court updates. Satellite has a 6-5 lead in the middle court and a 5-3 lead on the far court. So it's all scores across the way currently. Which makes the score on the broadcast happen. <laughs> Bray sends it to the corner again. Can't get it to drop. 17-11. As we'll switch sides here. Satellite with the 17-11 advantage. And I believe the second set. Kate Benton back to serve for the Commodores. Benton drops it in nicely. Set up for Bray on the spike. Looking for the corner. Satellite struggling to find it here with the lead. But it's 17 to 11. O'Galley hanging in there. 
It should be 17 to 12. Benton with the serve, sailing long for O'Galley. 18-12, Satellite with the lead, nearing closer and closer to the match win here. And every match gets you closer to a district championship berth. Thompson drops it in, Steele sends it back over and out. Good effort, can't really control a hit like that. Most times, 19-12, Satellite leads. And the other courts, Satellite 8-7 lead in the middle and 8-4 lead on the far. And that serve goes long by Thompson. It is 19-13. Benton and Steele. Legale still playing well, but they got to get a little run going there, and that's not going to help as the serve goes into the net for Steele. And it is 20-13 now. And with that, match point for the Satellite Scorpions here on this court. And then we'll switch over to that middle court. And the serve just creeps over. Steele gets it back. Kylie Thompson tip drops in, and that'll do it. And this match... For Ava Bray and Kylie Thompson, they pick up the win here in, I believe, two sets. This one, 21 to 13. And there that'll be go. the first of the satellite teams to move on. We move over to the middle court, court number four, 10 8 satellite with the lead. Abby White and Caitlin Brown for the Scorps. And it's Lexi Wilmerton and Anastasia Coiro for the Commodores. Satellite with the 11 8 advantage now. As it's a race against the weather. To get to the district championship, Satellite one step the way there. Again, they'll either face the winner of Satellite Nogali will face either Vieira or Bayside. Coiro, nice play by Wilmerton to get it over for the Commodores. That one drops short and, and over, and Satellite gets the point. 12 to 8, they lead it. Set up for Wilmerton, knocks it over for O'Galley, out of bounds. Satellite now leads it 13 8 as they're on a run here on the middle court. So we are going to get a match here. Remember, you got to win three out of five, so they have five teams ready. Satellite has the one game advantage on O'Galley. Middle court that you see right now at a break, they, Satellite with a 13 8 advantage trying to clinch their second match. And 13-6 down on the far court. If they win both of those two, they won't need two more games. They'll already, I believe, clinch their spot in the district championship. Molly Steve, what's going on? Nice job out there. Yeah. Problem is with beach volleyball, you don't got lights here, so if the rain holds us out. For you too know, long, Jackson, that's I'm glad you brought that up. Because you and I, next year, that's our next campaign. Me and you, we're gonna raise money to have lights built everywhere. What do you think, buddy? Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, with that being Jackson's, said, Jackson's always in. <laughs> no objections here. Um, Jackson's always in. But if a district championship would be set before. Uh, such a scenario then they, that could be postponed to tomorrow or another day because sand courts are only used for beach volleyball so they don't got to worry about any other sports right they can kind of play it as they wish state championships this year up in tallahassee why beach capital of florida right the beach capital of florida tallahassee what, what i mean who, who thought of that i mean the best volleyball teams on the beach in Florida are all from Central Florida South. We should uh, host it. Maybe. Satellite should host state championships. They could. They got a great facility. It is. I remember they built this thing in like a week. I, I know. One day we saw construction trucks out here. Everyone's like, what's going on? Well, found out pretty soon. Next day. Now, Coach Bolton has, has for 10 years, and for those that don't know the story, you know, Coach Bolton, this has been his dream. This is what he's wanted, is for not just beach courts, but for this to be a sanctioned sport with the Florida State High School Athletic Association. And, and you know, 
I when I was with Space Coast Daily, I did Coach Bolton's Hall of Fame story about his quest to get all of this accomplished, and he's been on quite a quite quite a quite a trail. My next campaign is to get lacrosse to be sanctioned here in Brevard. What do you mean? I don't think lacrosse is a technically a sanctioned sport. Oh yeah, it is. It is a club. No, no, it I don't is. think in Brevard. Yeah, it is. Huh? Yeah, that's why you got one A and two A now. Uh, like if, 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 yeah, they're in the FHSAA state tournament. All right. Yeah, yeah that's sanctioned. Yeah, because Holy Trinity, Holy Trinity, Vieira, yeah, it's the FHSAA tournament. And I was mistaken. I was told that it was still a club sport in Brevard. No, used to be. It was up until 2012. All right. Well, that's. It, it used it, it started off as a club sport. Got that it. is correct. But yeah, now it's totally sanctioned. Good. Middle court you've been watching. It's a seventeen to twelve satellite lead as they look to take their second match out of three that they would need to advance to the district championship as the rain begins to fall. Once Caleb gets here, we will we also have tents over here we can set up under a little bit if it gets you know, I don't think they're gonna keep the girls on the court if it's heavy rain. Uh, yeah. I don't know how he thinks he's getting in here. And walk all the way around. Is that a fence there? That way. Oh, is it right there? I didn't even see the opening. Eighteen thirteen satellite leads here on the middle court. That's the lightning round. No, that's the walkie talkie. Oh, it's not up here. Satellite trying to take their second game of three. They would need to advance to a district championship. Eighteen fourteen or eighteen thirteen the lead is. And we are under a weather delay, folks. We'll be back as soon as we can with an update here from Bolton Beach at Satellite High School. <laughs> 